Hey guys, Jack here with Space Games on YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. It is time for another Star Citizen tutorial. Today I'm gonna show you how you can save different camera angles on your keyboard for easy access and flexibility. Do you want to see what is going on behind you, above you, well, even in your cargo area? Well then watch this video and you will be amazed. Okay. Let's get first out into space and let's look at our ship, right? Let's do it. While well, we are here on Microtech, outside uh, in a beautiful area, um, nice and snow. And we have the uh, new C1 Spirit, as you can see here. And I actually use my a uh, little joystick on my bigger joystick and I can move my camera around. But usually what you see is this, right? That's how you see your spaceship from the inside and you know if you press F4, you are outside. But you can change the angle. And I have uh, some uh, settings here on my recording software so you can see some of my keystrokes uh, doing the presentation. And what I want to show you is basically how you can have different camera angles saved on your keyboard so you have easy access to different camera angles at all times. All right. And actually what I have to tell you is these camera angles are actually per ship, per model, per maker. So if you fly a Cutlass Black and you make those changes and you save those camera angles, those only apply for your Cutlass Black. If I make those changes now for the C1 Spirit, then those changes will be only for the C1 Spirit. And down the road in an advanced video, I will show you how you can adjust those uh, settings in game files, but that's not the topic of today. Let's focus on, first of all, how you can do that. So usually what I'm doing is I'll save the top few of the a ship on button five in my uh, on my keyboard on the numpad and how you can do that first of all you you press f4 and the standard view is this right and how you get to the standard view is f4 and star on your numpad okay and you can see it here uh, in the recording as well okay so then how can i move this camera so I can see the top of the ship. It's very easy. You can just use your mouse. You press F4. And you move your mouse. Not F4. I'm sorry. C on your keyboard. <laughs> ah, kind of, a little trick here. <laughs> I try to make jokes now. I um, just said it wrong. But yeah, with C, once you are with F4 outside the ship. And you see this. Use the button C on your keyboard. And move around okay so yeah now you see this so how can you save this view very easy you press f4 and five at the same time you hold it for three seconds and that's it okay so now this view is saved to your spirit f4 and five to see this top view okay so if i press f4 and star i go back to the normal view okay if I now press F4 and 5, I go back to the top view. Isn't that awesome? But here is something else I can show you. If I go in, and now I will take my um, So I'm, I'm using the directional buttons on my keyboard. I'm trying to get lower, I use page down. And always press F4 to do those changes, right? You can do C and move around, right? And I can zoom in. I'm using my page button and I go inside the ship. All right. And I go a little bit here. And then, okay, I want to save this. So I'm going to put this here now on F4 and 1. So I'm inside. I have F4 and 1 inside. I go now back to f4 and 5 i see the top view and i go to f4 and star and i have the regular view right i can also you know just turn the ship 
with mouse and holding C. And I say, okay, I want to save this uh, view from the right side on button 6, F4 and 6. It kind of makes sense because 6 is on the right side. And then I hold C, I go to the other side. And I make F4 and 4. Hold it. Yeah, and now I have top view, I have right view, and I have this view. And I can go back inside and see my hangar. So at all times, you have full control of your ship. And it makes totally sense, especially in action. Because if you're in action, you want to sometimes see what's going on in the cargo area. What's going on in your, uh, you know, weapon storage. If you have the Carrick, for example, you can set up more cameras to have more rooms visible on your screen uh, in, in a really short time without, you know, fumbling around with your joystick or your mouse and your keyboard. So you have quick key binds with F4, saved cameras, and there you have it. So now let's... Let's take off, uh, I'm pressing F4 and star, which is the default and I'm taking off now. And it works at all times. Now F4 and one, I'm going inside. If this is not correct, like here now, um, the camera moved a little bit during flight. Uh, so I would adjust it during flight like this and save it again, F4 and one, and it should work better so maybe it's better when you right away save this camera angle during a flight because then when you land it's more you know safe all right so okay let's uh go outside f4 and star and i guess we turned around somehow <laughs> don't know how that happened i think playing around with the keyboard did the trick um, let's let's just fly a little bit. Let's enjoy this beautiful, beautiful sky. <laughs> okay, I want to see the top. Yes, I can. I want to see the side. Oh, I can. <laughs> I want to see this. Beautiful. This is also useful if you make videos or screenshots. This kind of, uh, you know, quick keybinds can help you a lot. Let's try to go inside again. Ah, it doesn't work really well. <laughs> the camera moves. You need to play around a little bit with the camera angle to have a safe position. I was maybe too low. So let's go out. Let's go in. Yeah, it works now. Let's go to the side. Let's go back in. Yep, works now. Back to normal. Oh, we are a little bit hanging to the side. I have to go to a normal. Okay. So, okay, let's go. And you can use your mouse. You want to have the button side. F4 and 2. Uh, don't push. Don't use F4 and 0. If you use F4 and 0, you basically erase all your settings. Okay? You don't want to do that. F4 and 1. Back inside. Now it works perfect, right? F4 and 6. 5 regular awesome <laughs> it works oh man i love to fly this thing i want to see it from top again <laughs> oh from the top which is five wow isn't that a beautiful ship anyway guys that's actually it i mean this is how you save different camera angles to your keyboard to have short keybinds quick and easy right Play a little bit around, especially when you make camera angles inside a ship. The camera might change as you fly. So pick a situation to save those angles um, and try it around by flying around a little bit. Go back in. 
test it again, and it should work. Awesome. Uh, don't forget, if you go here, and then you go back with F4, to see uh, the regular view, you press F4 again, don't forget, you will be back at this camera, okay? So, the best is you go back into your ship when you have the standard camera angle. Okay, what is going on here? Well, guys, I will just keep flying around here and have fun. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, make sure to give me a like. And uh, if you want to see more uh, like this or you want to join my live streams every morning or sometimes in the evening, just, uh, yeah, subscribe. It's for free. It doesn't cost you anything. It supports my channel. Um, it makes sure the community here grows. And this is a really good community. I like my community. Space fans, you know. And uh, we are also hanging out on Discord and discuss our citizen. Uh, yeah, we can just land here and uh, check out what this Karak is doing. Interesting. Seems to be... Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. <laughs> I have to play a little bit. And I will test my cameras. Oh, okay. Oh, still works. It moved a little bit, right? But it still works. All right, from the top. From the top. <laughs> from the side. <laughs> from inside. Standard. Okay. That's it. Guys, I see you in the worst. And as always, be respectful. See ya. Jack Long, signing off.